We in the building was good. GCV gang, God's chosen vessels. Everybody hit that like button. All the new viewers hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And you already know what I'm about to ask y'all. Watch this video from the beginning of the video to the very end of the video, all right? Hope everybody's having a very wonderful evening. It's Friday night. I hope everybody is feeling all right. Hope you had a wonderful week, amazing week. Hope your week was full of blessings. Hope your week was blessed. Anything that stressed you out, hope you prayed about it. Hope you got over it. And just know that whatever you need, you can always go to God for it. Feel free to uh, email me if you'd like me to pray for you. If you need some advice, if you'd like to talk to me, hit my email, and that will be in the um, that will be in the description of the video. Okay. What we are here to talk about today is time. If you're a chosen one, if you're a chosen vessel, if you're a light being, if you're a star seed, if you're a divine one, if you're an infinite being, I know that time is very valuable to you. Time is very important to you. You do not like your you do not like to waste your time, okay? You like to do things that are going to get you somewhere. You like to do things that are going to improve your life. You like to use your time to learn things, to educate yourself, to get further in life. You like to use your time. If you know it's something you like to do or something you want to be great at, you are in it to win it. You will divulge and dedicate, if not all, most of your time to sacrifice to get done what you need to get done to learn what you need to learn so you can make it that much better so you can make the improvement on it so to sound better so to look better so to feel better so to taste better whatever you're working on what chosen whatever chosen vessels passion is or whatever life purpose is or whatever goals they want to accomplish they will use every single day of the year if possible to get that done to achieve that goal, no matter how many days, no matter how many hours, how many minutes, seconds, years, months, weeks, chosen ones are going to get it done, okay? No matter how long it takes them to accomplish it, they're not going to give up. They're not going to waver, okay? They're going to stay focused, all right? And they are going to achieve their goal with something inside of them, driving them to do that. And it's, it's God, because God was the one who put that vision and put that goal in your mind in the first place. All right. And that is why he chose you because he saw that in you and he knew you were the one for the job. All right. So that's why chosen ones, chosen vessels, infinite beings, star seeds, light beings, infinite ones, divine ones. People don't get right. That chosen ones use every second of every day to improve their lives, to become successful. All right. Chosen ones move on a timed schedule. They have several tasks and goals to complete throughout their day. All right. Their soul's mission is to be better than they were yesterday and be the best at what they do and who they are. Period. That's it. Okay. Chosen vessels use their time really Chosen vessels don't use their time really for anything else because they are aware that God put them here for a reason, all right, and that they don't have forever to achieve their goals, accomplish tasks, okay? They don't have all the time in the world for that. They know that a specific time they need to put in. They know it's a specific type of energy they got to put into their craft. So that they can get the result they want, so that they can help themselves, and so that they can help other people. Because we're aware that our purpose is, sole, sole purpose is to be able to help us. And then after we help us, God gave us that gift to be able to help others, okay? So we use, that's why we use our time wisely. We don't use it for anything else, really. Because we're aware that God put us here for a reason, to achieve goals, to accomplish tasks, okay? They divulge a lot of time into polishing their craft because they see themselves doing that and getting rich off of it. But if it's something that you want to do and you want to get rich off of it, you can't play around with it. It has to be something that you do. It has to be something that you're known for. When people see you or people talk about you, they got to be like, yo, he does that. He lives that. He eats and breathes and sleeps that. Okay? 
they have to know that it's something like you have to be putting in that much work that people know. You don't even have to tell anybody like, yo, that's what he do. That's what she do. All right. So they divulge a lot of time into polishing their craft because they see themselves doing it and getting rich off of it. If you're trying to get rich off something, you're not going to be playing around with it. If you know that there's money in something, you are going to dedicate your time to it. You're going to be um, you're going to be eager and you're going to be motivated to get things done. All right. You're going to get when when there's no energy, you're going to get energy. It's going to come from somewhere. It's going, it's going to be that drive in you that's like, yeah, I got to get this done. That energy will come from nowhere, all right? That's why people are always trying to get to the chosen ones and their energy because we have unlimited energy, all right? When everybody else is tired, we keep going. When people can't, we can, all right? When people stop, we don't stop, all right? Chosen ones have dream careers. Chosen ones don't like to do much that doesn't result in them getting ahead in life in the areas they want to be successful in so they can get the results they're working towards to manifest the reality that they wish to live in, okay? The difference between chosen people and people who just want, who just, the difference between chosen people and people who just want it, chosen don't even want to watch anyone else succeed, okay? We don't want to see props to everybody doing good. But if I'm if I'm a chosen one and and I'm not right and I'm not doing good, I'm not at all hating. But I'm not at all waiting because I'm not at all faking. OK, I'm working on me so that I could have that life for myself so that I could do the things that I want to do so that I could be where I want to be. I'm working on me. Shout out to everybody doing them. That's beautiful, wonderful, amazing, incredible, all that good stuff. But for me personally, so I can achieve those wonderful, great, amazing things for me, I got to put that time into me, all right? And I have to work towards succeeding, all right? We're too busy working towards succeeding, all right? We are aware that if we can have, we are aware that if we work, we can have what we want. We don't just sit and wish for it. We know that if we work for it as, as, as we work for it as smart enough, if we work, we know that if we work for it smart enough every day, I didn't say smart enough. I said if we work towards it smart enough, all right, if we work towards it smart enough every day, we are going to be able to create what we're trying to create. And that creation is going to allow us to create the reality we want. All right. If you put out a project, or a product and it sells and people buy it and you get enough money back that's going to allow you to create the reality that you want, all right? And you don't have time to be playing around when you know that because you need to be working on what it is that you're good at or the or what you want to put out to be sold, okay? Your dreams are avenues for you to create the life you see yourself living and enjoying. Chosen ones are constantly working on this or twerking that to make it the best that, it, or, or not twerking. I mean, when chosen ones ain't twerking that. I, I, <laughs> this is my fourth video, y'all. Chosen ones, we ain't twerking that. All right, not this chosen one. Okay. Chosen ones are always working on this or tweaking that, not twerking that. All right. Cho if you twerking that, cho yo, chosen ones, hey. If you, man, if you're a female chosen one and you twerking that, you know, I'm, don't put that in the comment section. Hey, hey, did that, that if, you, if you are a female chosen one and you want to put that in the comment section, I'm going to leave that up to you. Notice I said female. Okay, let's, let's stay on track, y'all. If you chosen ones are always working on this or tweaking not twerking, tweaking that, okay? Always trying to make a modification towards what we know we could be good at, all right? Where'd I leave all that? That twerking that got me confused. We are creating our reality, tweaking that to make it the best it can be, all right? We are driven by our purpose and our reason for giving it all we've got, all right? We give it all we got. Give it all you got. We keep climbing to the top and give it all you got. We won't let nobody stop us. Give it all you got. 
I'm telling you, like, I, I got strategies to recharge my batteries. Shout out to Les Brown. I got strategies to recharge my, look, Les Brown, look what you done created, man. Look, look what you done helped, all right, with and aided in, in the process of, all right? Know that if we put in the right amount of work, we can make our lives different, all right? We can make our lives different than it is because we can be better at what we want to be successful at. We know that if we put the right amount of work in, our lives will be different forever, all right? We're driven by our purpose and our reason for giving it and that's our reason for giving it all we got. Chosen vessels, we never give up. We see every day and every second of every day as an opportunity to become better at what we want to become successful at. All right. We put we know that if we put in the right amount of work, we can make our lives different. It can happen. We we know we don't have to settle for the bare minimum. Chosen vessels are ready and willing to receive all that God has for us. All right. If it's anything we see ourselves with, whatever. It may be a new house or a new car. We already see ourselves in it, all right? It's already ours, all right? We already see ourselves with it. We desire only the best. We know once we become financially successful from putting in countless hours of work, our lives will change for the better, without a doubt, absolutely, all right? Without a doubt, you put in that work, and it's worthwhile work and work done correctly, to get the result that you want, there's no way that you can't get what you want and your life will, without a doubt, indeed change, all right? We don't like to waste time and we don't like our time wasted. It's always a chance, always an opportunity, always an idea. There is always something to be done and that can and will be done in the eyes of the chosen. We will study, research, ask questions, watch videos. Chosen ones have a drive in them that allows them to do whatever it takes, okay? This is the power that you have. It's the power of God in us that never lets us quit. We don't allow ourselves to give up, all right? If you're a true chosen vessel, you are aware that you can't give up. You can't even give up if you try, all right? Coming, all right, giving up on your dreams would be like you giving up on life. We're, we've told ourselves so many times that we can. Our mind has been strengthened to the point of not being able to give up if we tried. Our energy in our very essence could never possess the spirit of giving up. All right? It's not in us. We were chosen. Okay? We're chosen ones. All right? When chosen ones think they give up and this is it, they're right back to it, believing in themselves in no time, all right? No time. Chosen ones know how to keep that drive alive. Quitting is not an option for us. This is what happens if the chosen one, if you quit, you're going to be depressed, you're going to be anxious, and you're going to be worried because it's going to be eating at you, eating at you, eating at you because you know deep down in the depths of your soul that why you were created is to do that, and that is why you are here, to accomplish those goals, okay? So when you're not accomplishing those goals that you know deep down inside in your soul that God put you here to do, depression is going to kick in, anxiety is going to kick in, worry is going to kick in, all right? All those things are going to kick in because deep down inside, you know, all right, you know since you deal with God, all right, and you know that since you deal with God, you do the uh, shadow work on themselves, conquering demons, all right, conquering those spirits. We are already aware of these things. We're already knowing that these things come and how to get rid of them, all right? The only thing going to get rid of them is smart work, okay? When we work on our goals <clears throat> and we work on our lives, our get when we work on our goals, we know our lives are getting better because it's our destiny as chosen ones. Our life work is our goals and our life work and our dreams and goals are our purpose. All right. People see us making sacrifices and putting in countless hours of work. All right. And they may prejudge us because we are because we're not where we desire to be yet. All right. The thing about chosen vessels is that we are patient and we know that our time is coming from all the work that we put in, 
all right, where someone else will stop and think they need to try and find something else or end up giving up right where if they kept going, it would be it would have turned out to be the best opportunity. It would have been, turned out to be the best thing that they could have ever done for themselves. Something like you ever seen that meme where the person is digging for the diamond and the one person stops and then the other person keeps digging and they were like that person that stopped was this close. It's all about putting yourself in future field position. All right. Chosen vessels. When you use your time wisely every second of every day, you will start to see the results and you'll start to get overwhelmed with the spirit of joy and happiness. Don't you want to feel joyful? Don't you want to feel happy? All right. Instead of feeling depressed and anxious and worried because you're not doing anything. That's what you, you're going to be. You're depressed and anxious and worried because you're not doing anything. All right. You're going to feel that way when you're not doing anything. That's all your energy and your time and all your all your greatness being wasted. And it's trying to let you know, like, hey, you're just wasting us away. We could be doing something with that. All right. When you use your time wisely every second of every day, you will start to see the results and get overwhelmed with the spirit of joy and happiness. It feels amazing to keep your word to yourself. You don't have to have physical one million dollars to uh, feel great. You can have physical uh, one million dollars in terms of keeping your word to yourself, and you know you're about to attract that million dollars because you all, because you're you're taking the time to put in the work you need to do to become successful. You know what you want to be successful at, and all the ideas of what you need to do to become successful run through your mind all day, every day. People drink to uh, block stuff out, smoke to block stuff out. Don't drink and smoke to block stuff out. Work on what you need to work on. All right. Block. What you need to block out is the I can'ts. What you need to block out is the that's too good for me. What you need to block out is I'll never get that. That's the shit stuff you need to block out. All right? When you do what you say you're going to do, there are incredible feelings that flow to you, letting you know that your manifestations are on the way. All right? Chosen vessels are smart. We're not lazy. We understand that time is money, and the more time we invest in ourselves, our time, and our craft, the more good out of life we will get. So with that being said, chosen vessels, all right, keep putting in the work. Don't allow yourself or anyone or anything. Notice I said you, yourself. Don't allow yourself. It's all about self-accountability, holding yourself accountable, all right? Keep putting in the work. Don't allow yourself, anyone, or anything to waste your time, all right? Or stop you from getting anything done. All right. This has been another Drew Tube special where we came to give you more and never lesser. God bless all you chosen vessels out there. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. This has been another Drew Tube special. We out.